Hello everyone, my name is Panky, Panky, Panky. Well, that's the channel name. My name is Panky, and you're watching Panky Music. So today, uh, I'm going to answer a few questions which were asked to me last week, and the questions were: Why do you need a scale to create melodies? Why do you need scales to draw your chords? Well, guys, uh, this is uh, th this was the question which were asked to me again and again and again and again and again and again. But the answer is very, very simple. So let's break it down. So guys, uh, before I start, I'm going to show you something which I have created. So I have come up with this melody. Uh, so uh, we will you know, find out that uh, if you have a melody which looks like this, you don't have any idea that which scale your melody is in and how do you find that. So first, have a listen to this melody. Okay, so now uh, you saw that you know, uh, I think all the notes in the melody were sounding good. I didn't feel anything that uh, which is you now going into the wrong direction. For example, if I uh, select this note and I just uh, slide it here and there, for example, I slide it one step down and now I play it. So immediately I got to know that there is something wrong with this pattern, right? So when your melody is sounding good, absolutely fine, that means it is in some scale because if it is out of scale, it won't sound good. Now the second step is how to find which scale my melody is in. So there are two ways uh, from my perspective. The first way is uh, you, uh, no, uh, let me just uh, uh, make it a bit uh, no, uh, bigger. So now you can see all the notes name over here. So the idea is you look for the notes which are in your melody you can download a cheat uh, not cheat sheet from the internet i'll drop the link in the description so now it is very simple for you to look out the scale in the sheet which has all these notes or the maximum notes so this is the one way uh, where you can find out where your melody is in now the second way is you can probably uh, you know, uh, select all the notes and try transposing them up and down and you uh, see like if you can get all the white notes. So for example, A minor scale has all the white notes in it. So if you can get all the notes somewhere uh, you know, lie where they are all on the white, uh, white notes. When I say white note, that means these notes. I'm not talking about the black ones, I'm talking about the white note. So if all the notes are in uh, on the white places, that means you are either in C major scale or A minor scale because they all have you know, uh, the white notes in them. So now uh, let's draw the A minor scale for example here and we'll see that how this goes. So I'm going to start with A. So let's draw A here, uh, stretch it a bit. Now, the next note in A minor scale is B, so I'll copy it to B. The next note is C, next white note is D, then E, then F, then G, and the next note is again A. So I'm going to copy all of them, drag them, and put on the A. So I have uh, the scale. Uh, copy and paste it one octave higher and I'm going to copy the same thing to one octave lower. So let's put it here. Okay, so now I know that my melody is in A minor scale because all the notes are lying on the white places. Well, um, just a second. This is, this is good. Yeah. Okay, so uh, there are two ways guys. Uh, first way is you can either draw the scale on on the places where you uh, start your melody from here. So you, this is kind of a uh, my rough scale, uh, no, but rough place where I can draw the notes here and I probably write uh, down the notes uh, on the right hand side. So you will uh, be always in, in, in a scale because you are just following the pattern. Or either you can do another uh, thing which is you can uh, once you have drawn this uh, pattern you can click on this button which is a uh, fold so when you fold it you'll have all the nodes uh, like you you won't have anything which is on the black places so for example I have something wrong here I have put the nodes uh, wrong here 
they shouldn't be so we're gonna just you know uh, correct them so this will come here um, this will come here uh, and I have this here so okay so now this is my perfect a minus scale so now uh, I know that I'm in the a minus scale now how do I create bass lines from this uh, from this melody so if I play it once more for you So guys, uh, I'll give you a, 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 a very useful tip. Uh, maximum songs in EDM track, right? When you write the melodies, you always start from the fifth note from the melodic note. So what is a melodic note? Melodic note is your root note. So if I'm in the A minor scale, this is my melodic note. This is my root note. So if I count five notes from here, I can start my melody from here also. For example, if I just select all of them and just bring them down um, okay so if I bring them down to A and if I play now so I'm still in A minor scale but this is uh, but this is something which you know uh, like you know it, it doesn't sound too uh, attractive it doesn't sound too you know impressive so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag them back to that fifth note which is E okay so uh, you can uh, you can start from the root note also you can start from the fifth note also that's up to you but I was talking about majority of the uh, EGM tracks or dance music tracks they start their melodies writing from the fifth note so now uh, we know our root note is a minor so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create my bass lines on a minor or on the root note so I'll draw something here Okay, well, uh, let's not uh, create a baseline here. I'm gonna copy uh, this entire melody to my new track, which is bass. I have uh, assigned an instrument here, and which sounds like this. Uh, okay, so I have a synth called uh, Silent One. I've used Silent One plugin here and uh, chosen a sound. So I'm gonna copy this entire melody here. Now, what we have to do is we have to select all these notes press 0 on your keyboard and it will mute all the notes now it is very simple for me to create a bass line for it so we were on the a a note so a note is here so let's draw something okay so now uh, let's uh, copy this one more now this sounds good to me well, uh, I'm just randomly drawing these notes. Uh, you can either uh, stretch it completely like this and copy it once more. So it's up to you. Uh, I think uh, the first pattern which I was drawing was sounding good to me. So I'm going to copy this till here because from here my melody is changing. It is going one note higher. So now uh, I think I need to make one more change this doesn't sound uh, pure bass for me so I'm gonna drag this uh, A3 note to A2 because I'm still in my root note but I will come uh, one, oct uh, one octave down so that it completely sounds like a bass so where is my A, 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 this is my C, D, 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 A2 so let's, uh, le let's start with this A2 instead of A1 so now I played awesome now this completely sounds like a bass now I'm gonna copy this and duplicate it and now um, now this doesn't sound exciting so I'm gonna uh, now, uh, just uh, drag it on the another white note um, for your kind information this is again in my scale so I didn't copy it uh, much octave lower I'm gonna copy it here so I'm still in the A minor scale, it's just a matter of copying the notes again and again. So so this sounds good, but you can experiment with other things like this. Nope. This is okay. This is okay, but I think this was better for me, so I'm gonna... 
now again copy it and i'm gonna uh, just randomly uh, choose anything which sounds good to this melody so let's try with this this is okay uh, let's try with this nope so this is okay because i started with this uh, this root note here and my root note is again same here so i think this fits that uh, this the the rhythm okay so i'm gonna stay with this one and copy this again and now i'm gonna try some different place this sounds perfect but let's try a couple more if i go on the downside what it sounds like let's see. this is also okay so this was the first okay let's go with this one because we are here and I'm blending on the lower note so I think this will be okay so now I have got my bass lines which was uh, very easy to make I think so let's play it once more I think I'm on the wrong place. Uh, sorry about that. This should be here. Or alternatively, what you can do is you can click on this button, which is fold. And now you want, uh, no, uh, like you won't do any mistakes when you are drawing your bass lines or your melody because we are only working on the notes which are in the scales. Once you have got your bass line, it will be very very simple for you. So I have a, a third MIDI setup here, which is uh, which is chords, and I have used a simple piano keys from the default stock plugins if i record enable this you can see that this are just simple piano notes so i'm going to copy this bass notes uh, track and drag it onto my chords and for the time being i will uh, i will just you know uh, disable this uh, uh, bass track so that i'm able to hear my chords properly and uh, just increase the volume for this i think this is highest so double click on that now Now this is the same thing which we did on our basses. Now how do we create chords for it? So creating chords guys, it's very very simple and you can create in two ways. So I'm going to show you. So uh, in most of the tracks we use uh, like a full length chords. I mean you can create the different patterns like I created for the bass. But uh, I would suggest to go with a simple pattern because it you know, works as a fillers in your track. So you can um, probably drown uh, these notes like we did in our in our bass so the bass remains the same so now i have my chords uh, like you know the first note of my chords you can say so if i play it now so which is sounding good like you know but this is just the bass notes i converted them to chords now how do i draw the other notes uh, for this chord because we know uh, there are multiple notes you know which consist of chord so this is just the one note right so there are two ways guys the first way is you have to look for the two places first is third place and the other one is the fifth place so for example this is my root note now I have to look for the third place in my scale so one two and three so this is my third place if I count it from here the same thing. one two and three so this is my third place so you can just copy this note to this th third place and then and you have to copy the same thing to the, your fifth note so um, one two three four and five so this is my fifth place so I'm gonna copy this to here uh, what I can do is now I can follow the same pattern for my other notes so count let's count the uh, third and fifth white notes because we are all on the white note so uh, copy this to one two three this comes here and this comes and on the fifth place so one two three oops it will come here so one two three four five uh, this one so let's play it sounds okay now on the third place we're gonna count the third and fifth place again so one two three so this is three and 
4 and 5. So let's play it now. So by the way, this is the same chord as in here. So on the last place, we're going to count the same formula. So 1, 1, 2, 3 and then 4 and 5. So let's play it now. So did you see that uh, how uh, easily we created all these chords? Now I'm going to go back to my previous position and I'm, I'll show you the other way which I was talking about. So now uh, you have, uh, let's suppose you have this uh, uh, base notes and you want to create chords out of it. What you can do is you can click on this button which is fold. Now you have to count, you have to leave one, uh, one note in between and draw one note. So for example, copy this leave one note copy it here now again leave this note and copy it here okay so you're gonna do the same uh, thing for all the notes so i think this will be much more easier when you're working the fold mode so leave first place copy in the second leave this place copy on the hey uh, on this place so uh, do the same thing leave this place copy it here leave this place copy it here and leave first place copy in the second leave third place copy in the fourth now if you play it now so i think this was very very simple now if you unfold this you're gonna see that we have end up with the same thing which we created before so you saw that how easily we can create our chords when we have the baseline so I hope uh, I answered your question and uh, I hope you like this video. If you have any uh, other queries for, for me, just post them down uh, on my uh, comment section and I will reply to you as soon as possible. So uh, thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope this was useful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. So take care. I see you very soon in the next video. Goodbye.